Hello and thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to be talking about what it takes to actually sign up and play Guild Wars 2 in a tournament format. This is ESL. Now they have been hosting uh, a lot of tournaments that go for Guild Wars 2 for a while now and I've decided that I want to be part of this. You know I consider myself primarily a PvE player but I also do play a lot of PvP. And so I wanted to really actually enter a tournament and see what the process for that involves. Now I know, okay, a few people may be a bit scared that it's a tournament outside where you actually go on a website to register and, you know, it's all done like that. But believe me, it doesn't take too much effort. So this is the process we go through. So you can see here, this is the link you actually get to. This is done, uh, a number of different uh, people actually follow this. Uh, you have the ESL Twitter that actually has the links. You'll have a lot of people like Jebro, for example. He does uh, put out a lot of tweets and messages. He's one of the shoutcasters. Uh, and you want to keep an eye on the shoutcasters because they always give you up-to-date information. So they're worthwhile uh, following on Twitter. So here we go, this is the information. Obviously it says the start time, which is 10 o'clock uh, GMT, which for me is my server time. Uh, the checking times half an hour before that's this little arrow here okay uh, and then we had the late sign up as well um, just so I'll switch back this is so that I'm not entered I, I have one where I'm actually entered to go through and show you that so you see here these are the five on five give wars na uh, give wars two you've got the rules and these are the quick rules okay so with the radius of half thorns we're allowing it expects North America region um, and you uh, for example these are everything that comes in uh, this is the prize, the slot for the ESL Guild Wars 2 Pro League from places 1 to 4. Excellent. So, first of all, let's go and have a look at the rules. That's definitely what we need to do to make sure that we're going through. So there is a lot of rules, um, and this is for the qualifier in North America. Now, obviously it talks about no-shows, adding new players. You're not allowed to add new players until after the cup start. You've got protests, disqualification. I'm going to allow you to read through all of that. Um, you need to have uh, screenshots, for example. Um, you know, keeping an eye on the score. And so that way, you know, everyone knows that it's all valid and there's no other issues. A screenshot must be taken uh, at the end of it, sorry, at the end of each half, must be taken and loaded to the match page within 24 hours. So I'll be doing this a little bit later after I've actually entered the competition. Missing screenshots can be punished with one penalty point. Okay, uh, five on five match rules. You can't swap class during a match. You're only allowed to swap between matches. Um, you have all the server settings, which by the way, you do need your own personal server uh, or your guild server, for example. It's not too hard to get. It costs a, a couple of hundred gold, and but it, once you've got that, it's really easy. Um, you just require tokens, which is like two gold a day. So that's pretty easy to get sorted up. Um, the teams are responsible for the server arena and the correct settings. So your two teams together. These are the map rotations. And you have any problems, you know, that you can see here. Oh, I'm sure you guys can actually watch all of this and read all of this. Um, you've got match, these are two on two match rules, so we're not going to go into that. These are penalty points. In general, if you receive up to, you, you can receive up to six penalty points per match. Um, and then you can get, you, you will get punished. So these are all the rule violations. Okay, again, you can go into that. But if you pretty much do PvP a lot, you can see it's not too hard. So what you need to do is you need to log in. So you create an ESL account. You can do it with Facebook, which is really easy, or you just log in and create something yourself. Your game ID, well, that'll be Guild Wars 2, and it's also your ID for the game. So, you know, the four digits at the end. So for me, it's my guy, the mighty dot, whatever it is, that would be your game ID. You then create your team account, and then you get four other people. You send them a link, which actually have, you get with the once you've done this and you just get them to sign up and register again and then you all uh, put down your account uh, game IDs and then you're ready to go. And I'll show you here. So you see here, we're ready. This is, you're signed up. So you can see here, Team Mike. I'm gonna show you this so you can see as an example. Um, so you can see here, this is Team Mike. It's got all the players, who, who, all the people that are gonna be playing with me, um, how they're registered. I, I know the fact that I'm British, but I'm the only British in a team of Americans. So uh, that's gonna be interesting. So let's actually have a look. This is, I'm recording this on the Thursday, so I've got a couple of days before this actually changes. So you go in and have a look at the teams, and you can see here there's 20 unconfirmed members. So they're, I'm not sure how the format's gonna work. We'll soon see how that works. Um, but what happens when you check in, so at Saturday 21.30, I log in here and I check in, and then we play. Uh, you actually get this chat as well here, so you can chat and actually, um, you know, with any issues you've got, you can let the admins know. 
uh, you get the bracket the bracket will show you you know uh, wh who you're fighting and going on etc but imagine there's 20 teams well okay normally you'd need for example in a knockout format 32 but i'm sure some people actually get buys then and what that would mean is you could be in the last 16 which means you only need uh two matches you win the last 16 you win the last eight and then you're in the last four and you're going to be in the pro leagues so if you're lucky you can play play just two matches but in, if you're uh, unlucky you might have to play three and then that puts you into the pro league and this is what's going to be exciting or the to allow you to qualify so again this is really really easy to do and what i'm going to do i'm going to be recording my experience of playing in a tournament because i want you guys to get involved in this this is a really easy way to play pvp and if you're very very tired of playing you know against teams that aren't very good um this is worthwhile actually taking part and actually entering it doesn't take too much work it's worth doing you can follow them on twitter um i follow you know, people like jebro if you want to follow you know this is who i keep an eye on you see here he's got the weekly uh, cup this is a weekly cup that goes on so you can see here that jebro um follow all this stuff uh you, there's the sign ups and he keeps an eye on everything that goes on and he's been a shoutcaster for a long time so really i'd recommend following him um but yes sign up follow esl give was too uh, it's really worthwhile and for me as someone who's never played a tournament format I can't believe why I haven't not played this format. Um, I, will my opinions change after the match on Saturday? We'll soon see. But in the build-up, I, I hope you guys uh, are going to look forward to playing PvP. And we'll do some setup, uh, and I hope to do a little review of this and get my overall experience. Let me know if you guys have got any thoughts. Are you, you know, why have you? If, if you've never played this tournament format, if you think you're a decent PvP player. Is it because you struggle to get five players? Is it you've just never been able to get in the team? Is it, what, what is it that's prevented you from actually entering these qualifiers? Because I think esports are on the way up. I mean, you look at League of Legends. League of Legends, actually, for in the UK, was broadcast on TV, national TV, getting millions of viewers watching League of Legends. Uh, it was streamed on their website. Uh, it streamed on Twitch. Guild Wars 2 has the potential to get a very very good following and with up to four hundred thousand dollars available for the, the the prize at the end of the season i think i believe that's what the case is uh or at least in the, the world cup the world tournament series this is one thing that you if you're a decent pvp player it's worth investing in you could win a decent amount of money on this anyway that's my thoughts on this uh please leave any comments in the section below i'd love to hear your thoughts you know as i said this is me coming from someone who's never participated i want to get involved the rewards for pvp have made me get involved i hope it's going to get you involved as well leave any comments if you have and i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching